All right, and now we have the Fushan semifinals match. We see Blue, they're clearly crossing the line. Their auto not really working out well. You know, um, <laughs> Red having, is that a, that's a hood re, re eject? That's kind of crazy, a hood color sort. You see those flaps there on the robot? It was a color sort really well. I think this is definitely gonna be an exciting match. Semifinals one, I'm pretty sure. So that, you know, Red Alliance here is probably the first seed, if I have to assume, right? They have a, a flaps here to, you know, really eject rings. And this is an insane auto, six rings. Let's rewatch this from the from the far side. You know, they get that one on. And the three top rings in, in, in an entirely filled go after auto is just, Absolutely insane, right? And the Lady Brown bot over there, you know, scoring using their using their uh, top, you know, their the, their intake lifter gets that go into the positive corner, you know, <laughs> the second auto ends using that momentum they're carrying. Pretty insane. This is an Im incredible start for this team, uh, for this alliance here. And we see as the, as the match starts, well, Red is going to take auto, no problem here, and they do a quick swap. A very fast swap, and Red steals the third goal. I mean, they're trying to steal the third goal, but let's see if they get that. I'm pretty sure they're gonna should should be able to get that pretty easily. Uh, as I mean, I think Blue is trying to play defense on it. I think this is a good time for Red to just you know give up that that goal and just play wall six, and that's exactly what they do. They're extremely smart here with their decision making, and you know with their uh, hood redirect mech. That's that's one of the first ones I've seen in China. You know, however, lining up is lining up is pretty fast. I was gonna say lining up would probably be an issue, but no, they proved me wrong. And now they have. You have two rings on that, on that, and that close wall stake. Going for that far, far one as blue 70, uh, 70, one, six X is going to try to take that goal. It accidentally scores a red ring on it while playing defense on the on the on the far uh, hood redirect bot. Sorry, my my stream was a little laggy there, but that's okay. Red uh, misses that score and it falls out of the falls out of the 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 mat of the field, but that's okay. As blue now finally filling up that that third goal they have. This is I, I noticed this is kind of, might be an issue for red now because they only have one filled goal, right? Their other goal is so so like empty that they should probably do a goal swap with their teammate. But their teammate is playing incredible work, doing incredible work, and and blue coming in in the in the uh, I don't even know if that's the last couple seconds. No, that's not. That's like I I was kind of confused of why everyone just stopped here. Oh, it was a DC. That's that's tragic. Blue flips the red goal, and now red's now red's down. Red flips the blue goal. Wait, this is, and 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 this blue robot seems to be out of the play now. And red steals the other other blue goal, and now they need to, they need to score some rings on top of that blue goal, or are they gonna do negative play? I think they might do ne negative play instead. I, I think that's uh, that's what they will do. They're gonna they're gonna go play negative. Yeah. Oh, unless they score they score red ring. They do it at the very very end. Wow. That was a very exciting match. So many, so many, so much stuff happening, and you got the Lady Brown bots uh, going in for that hang. We're watching Auto a little bit though. We can really dive deep into these robots. So looking at this this red one with the the hood, so this is really what we saw most of the match. You can see their I think their their hood here popping up, pistonized. I'm pretty sure their hood popping up, and the ring just getting ejected out. Incredible, truly incredible, and yeah. Such an exciting semifinals match, I have to, to say. I think I think Red really just got a little a little too a little too worried here. I think they were they're like, hey, I th I do think, however, um, with with the hood redirect spot, after they weren't able to grab this goal, they should do a goal swap with their teammate. All right, I, that that's one thing I didn't really mention earlier, right? When I was watching the match, but now. Uh, second time watching it, I'm like, oh, they should definitely do that instead. They should, right here, they should, you know, they should probably, they should definitely play wall stakes, but there's so many red rings on the field right now that they can, you know, do a goal swap with their teammate and fill that goal up themselves. And then they'll be much, in a much better position for the rest of the game. But yeah, super, super exciting match, especially here with the end. Red, quick thinking there, you know, not want to be outdone by, by Blues. A uh, D-score, they, 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 they D-score that, that uh, Blue goal and you know, they're, they get a lot of wall sticks too. No, great match.